it, the trickiest thing is that I'm always right. <laughs> really good question. No, I, seriously, it comes down to at some point, I'm going to have uh, my expectations and he's going to have his and arm wrestling over making sure we get the best outcome for the business. Making sure we keep an open dialogue. I think that's the most important thing. So we communicate very well together. We, we always have in working together and just in our personal lives. The average age of advisors is actually 51. And a lot of those advisors built great firms over a long period of time, but sort of with old school, uh, an old school mentality and different planning strategies. So I think millennials sort of have a totally different perspective of what needs to happen in the planning process. And the other thing that's pretty cool about uh, working with young advisors in, in, and my son in particular is they're looking at it, it's a long-term perspective, right? They're looking at it over the next 20, 30, 40 years and not looking at a short window of what might be a 10 or 15 or a 20 year period. As a millennial, I think, you know, again, it goes back to perspective. I understand sort of what my generation is looking for out of an advisor. And I really think that's important going forward because whether we start to onboard millennials as clients or not is sort of irrelevant because I think millennials are going to define how the planning industry is going to look in five to 10 years. Zach is a very clear thinker. He's very, very helpful to me in helping me take a step back and work on processes in all areas of the practice, down to the new mailing address, to portfolio, to routine of how we greet the client. So he's a very good thinker and um, excellent at helping grow the business with putting these different processes in place for every aspect of what we do.